In this session, we're going to look at the Civil 3D 2017 improvements associated with corridor feature line extraction. I've got a drawing open on screen. It's called 05FL Extraction. This drawing represents a model of a large intersection. Let me zoom in. We'll talk about the intersection itself. This road is called Primary Street, and then the crossing road is called Secondary Street. As I hover over the components, you can see this is not a single corridor model. This intersection is built from several corridors. Let's assume I'd like to extract feature lines from the primary street corridor. First, we're going to make that a little easier to see on screen. I'm going to come over to the view cube and I'll click this clockwise rotation arrow to rotate my view. And then I'll zoom in. We'll center this. Historically, if we wanted to extract corridor feature lines, we had to do it one at a time. Now in Civil 3D 2017, we can extract corridor feature lines in bulk. Let's take a look. We'll assume I'd like to extract the back of curb feature lines from this corridor. I'm going to start by hiding the corridor from screen. I'll do that by selecting it. I'll come over to the Properties palette, and then I'll open the Code Set Style menu. I apologize, this is creeping off screen. I'm going to choose the new No Display Code Set Style. Let me mention that it's not necessary to hide the corridor to extract feature lines. I'm only doing it so that when we extract them, the feature lines are easier to see. We can see the corridor is still selected. I'm going to come up to the Contextual ribbon, and I'll launch the Feature Lines from Corridor command. I can then tell Civil 3D how much of the corridor I want it to extract feature lines from. I can extract feature lines from the entire corridor, I can do it on a region by region basis, or I can extract feature lines from a polygon that I've drawn ahead of time. I'm going to choose Regions, and then I'll click in this region here on the end. We'll click in the next one, the next one. I'm going to grab them all. We'll go down to the end of the line here. When I'm finished, I'll press Enter. This brings up the Extract Corridor Feature Lines dialog box. But let me mention that if you've ever been asked by a grading contractor to provide break lines for the purpose of doing automated machine guidance, this dialog box makes that task much easier. Over here on the left, we can see all of the feature lines available for extraction. They are organized by category. I'm going to click this icon on the upper left to collapse the categories. Right here, we can see the point codes used to create those feature lines. Remember, I'm interested in the back of curb feature lines, so I'm going to click this box to deselect all of the categories, and then I will select the back of curb. Let me drag this down for just a second. Note we can see this category represents the back of curb feature lines on the left side, and here we can see the ones on the right. I'm going to expand the left side, and note that if I select the feature lines, we can see them highlighted in the drawing. Let's collapse the left side. We'll open up right. I will select these. Note that when I select these last two, we can see that they are disjointed because of the break there for the region. Let's collapse this. I'll push the dialog box up. In the lower left corner, I can toggle this box. This will join feature lines in adjacent regions. This will create nice continuous extracted feature lines. Using the site column, I can select the site I'd like my extracted feature lines placed in. Here I can assign a style. Let's drag this over. I can select the layer. I can even assign a pay item if I want. Let's click the Settings button for a second. Using this toggle, I can ensure that the feature lines remain dynamic to the corridor model. I could apply smoothing if I want to. I can also name the feature lines. Let's click the Name Template button for a second. In Civil 3D 2017, there are additional property fields for naming feature lines. Let's say that I would like these named FL Corridor Feature Code. We'll add a dash. I'd like the side the feature line is on. We'll insert that, and then a dash, and then I'd like the next counter. When I'm finished, I'll come down and click OK. Note we can also assign a code set style. This would be used to automate the style assignment in this column. Basic's fine for right now. Let me click OK, and then I'll choose Extract. I will then press Escape, and we'll zoom in on the right here and take a look. Right here is my feature line. Remember that was broken here at the end because of the region. You can see this is joined together nicely. Here's the one on the other side. And we can see the back of curve feature lines here at the other end. Remember that these feature lines are dynamic to the corridor model. If I wanted, I could use these as break lines in a proposed surface. I could create grading objects from them. I could even use them as the baseline for another corridor. Later on, if my original corridor changes, any of the civil objects I create from these feature lines will update as well. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to put things back the way they were. Let's go back to the Prospector tab. We'll come down to Corridors. I'll right-click on the Primary Street Corridor, and we'll choose Select. And then we'll go to the Properties palette and we'll switch the code set style back to all codes. 
Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.